Good day, everybody. Here we got another installment on the uh, Ludwig Phase II synthesizer. There was uh, a question on the forum concerning um, the building of the clone as to uh, whether it was really uh, worth your while to uh, add the pedal control. And uh, my bro Jimmy and I are pretty well in agreement that. Uh, it, uh, it's an integral part of the effect. Um, now there was a question as to how the pedal and the LFO in interact with each other. The, uh, the pedal basically controls the voltage so it'll sweep you however you know depending on how your trim pots are set up it'll sweep you from one end of your filter spectrum to the other. The LFO will basically bounce you back and forth within a certain section. Uh, I might be explaining it wrong, but this is how I have it figured out in my head. Um, so it'll basically bounce you back and forth within a certain section of that spectrum. So basically the pedal takes you through the whole spectrum of a particular filter, whether it be the A, B, or C, and the LFO will bounce you back and forth within a certain section of that spectrum but you can shift that section of the spectrum with the pedal. Again, that's why the pedal is really integral um, to, the, uh, to the unit. Uh, we'll just uh, go through a couple of different examples here. Um, I'm gonna basically just uh, have it in uh, vowel mode right now. No animation. The animation turns on and turns off the LFO. <coughs> So we got a 1970s setup here, a uh, nice Ampeg G212, the Phase 2 thin synthesizer. So we're back in the 70s. <laughs> so that's, that's just with the pedal. So that's sweeping me through one end of the filter to the other. <laughs> So you can hear the yoy yoy happening there if I if I manipulate the pedal just at the right speed. Okay. Uh, for the LFO, you have the uh, the intensity of the filtering, okay, and the rate. And this is the intensity for the fuzz repeat. We won't be using that today. It's not really uh, important to the to the. Uh, of the lay of the land here. Um, so uh, if, and we have a fast and slow start. This will determine whether your LFO comes on slowly or whether it comes on right away as soon as you hit the, uh, the foot switch. So if we turn the LFO on, you can hear the LFO bouncing us back and forth through a certain spectrum of the, uh, of the uh, filter. Now what happens is with the pedal, we can shift through that spectrum. Okay, uh, again the intensity. How hard you want that filter to come through? Now, if we go to the counter mode, so basically, we're, we've we've changed the trajectories now. The uh, the two filters are running counter to each other, and again, the pedal will sweep through the entire spectrum depending on how you have your voltages set up and your your LFO will oscillate within a certain section of that spectrum and that section you can you can move it through the entire spectrum with the pedal so really you know you can't build a clone and not have the pedal with it I mean it, it's just uh, uh, you just won't have a phase 2 synthesizer You'll have a, uh, 
I don't know. Uh, Line 6 Filter Pro hooked up to a tremolo. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you people. Uh, it, it's an integral part of the effect. Uh, there you go. So I hope that clears up any questions you know anybody might have on the interaction between the pedal and the LFO. Uh, I hope that helps. Have yourselves a great day. Thanks for watching.